the S&P 500 and NASDAQ closing at all-time highs. The Dow up, gold up, real estate. Hey everybody, Jake here with TrendSpider to do another technical analysis series video on raindrops and what exactly is a raindrop. So a raindrop chart is a volume-based chart. If you're familiar with a price bar, generally with a price bar, your left bar is your open, your right bar is your close. For this particular type of chart, the left bar is your volume weighted average price for the first half of the time period you're looking at. So if we're looking at a daily chart, it's the first half of the day. Second bar here is the second half of the day's VWAP. And you can see on top of that is the volume profile. So what you can do with this is you can use this around important levels of resistance and support. So for example, here on lows, you can see here how we have this diagonal resistance. We broke through intraday on October 7th. You can see the wick right here. And then uh, the difference, though, is looking at the candle versus the actual raindrop. So you can see here we technically closed below this resistance line on October 7th. And uh, with the raindrop, what you can see is you can see a lot of the volume profile for this particular candle. A lot of that volume was being absorbed by buyers above this resistance line. So the raindrop isn't going to tell you if this is buying volume, is it selling volume, whatever the case is. What it's going to tell you is where are those buyers actually stepping in and absorbing supply. There's always going to be a seller anytime there's a buyer. So if I come in and I buy a million shares, I have an institution, whatever, I'm an institution, I come in and buy a million shares, there's someone selling those shares to me. So it's more or less where are those buyers actually absorbing that supply that's being dumped on the market. And you can see here, in this case, within this wick, you don't have to go down to the two minute or the five minute chart. You can simply go to the raindrop to see where that volume was really aggregating for the day. And you can see the nice continuation up. So anytime you have a a uh, candlestick wick through a resistance line, but you close below it. You definitely want to do side by side comparison with the raindrop chart. You can see here this was confirmation that even though it looks like sellers were coming in, what more likely happened was there were a bunch of buy orders during the day, even probably market orders going on. And once those big buyers were done, supply and demand got back into equilibrium at a lower price. So just because you have a wick like this doesn't mean sellers came in. It could simply mean that buyers were done for the day and supply and demand got back into equilibrium at a lower price. So this is the example whenever you have a wick with volume within that wick and a continuation up. But here's an example on Spotify back a few months ago where you have the exact opposite happen. You've got diagonal resistance here. You can see the same type of setup. We technically closed below this resistance line. You can see the wick here on October 27th. Intraday we broke through but couldn't close. This is where you do a side-by-side -side comparison to the raindrop and you can see there's no volume profile within this wick. So if we zoom this in, you can see it's pretty much flat right here compared to the big bulge of volume that we saw with lows uh, and we had our continuation up. Here we had a false breakout. We have the confirmation by the uh, raindrop chart that there is no volume within this wick and this was the, the uh, way to see that there was definitely not a lot of conviction by buyers during this attempt at a breakout. Now if we move over, you can see something different. Once we finally did break through this line, there was actually a decent amount of volume above the resistance line, and then that was our confirmation for a higher move up. So generally, you have a nice breakout, volume confirming the breakout. Sometimes, a lot of the time, honestly, you'll have a retest of this area, and then you'll have your continuation up like we saw on Spotify. So hopefully this video helps you understand how you can get an edge in the market looking at raindrops versus hollow candles, seeing the supply and demand from a different perspective, and really being able to use this to get an edge in the market. If you have any questions, please let us know. But hopefully this video was helpful in understanding a little more about raindrops and how you can use them around support and resistance lines. Everybody have a great day and thanks for watching.